a compression spring is needed to fit within a one diameter hole. To allow for some clearance, the outside diameter of the spring is to be 0.9 inches. The spring has a spring index of 8 and it's used in a machine that will compress it from a free length of 3 inches to a solid length of 1 inch. What is the fatigue factor of safety using the Gerber Zimmerli fatigue failure criterion if the spring has squared ends, is unpinned, and is made from music wire? This is the second example for the spring's fatigue failure main video. The link to example 1 and the main video are in the description below. The solution procedure to this problem is similar to the one from example 1, so make sure to check out that one first. Just like in that previous video, we know that for the factor of safety, we need the torsional modulus of rupture, and for it, the ultimate strength. For music wire, we have A equal to 201 and M equal to 0.145. The wire diameter can be found from the spring index and the relationship between the outer diameter and the coil diameter. This allows us to calculate the ultimate tensile strength and the torsional modulus of rupture. Using the Zimmerli data and this torsional modulus of rupture, we find the shearing endurance strength. And remember, the expression to find the shearing endurance limit would change according to the criterion I'm following, not just the expression for the factor of safety. It's also worth noting that in both example 1 and example 2, I'm using an unpeened spring. For a peened spring, the values of SSA and SSM would be 57.5 and 77.5 respectively. Moving on to the maximum shearing stress, so that we can find the alternating and the mean shearing stress, we find that the force that is causing that maximum shearing stress is equal to the spring constant times the maximum deflection. We have the wire diameter, and we can find the shear modulus for music wire that has a diameter between 64 and 125 thousandths of an inch, the coil diameter, and the number of active coils, if we find the total number of coils first. With the spring constant value, the maximum force or the force to the solid length, and the correction factor Kb, we find the maximum shearing stress. With this value, and therefore the value for the alternating and the mean shearing stresses, we find that the factor of safety is 0.38. In the next main video, link below, we'll learn about the restrictions we have for the design of a mechanical spring. I've mentioned it before, but a spring index of up to 12 is still within the range of those restrictions. You can try it on your own, but if you use a spring index equal to 12, you'll find a fatigue factor of safety close to 1. Thanks for watching.